Hey guys, gonna talk to you today a little bit about German knife walls. Checking in live from Germany here. We are in Nuremberg, Germany, and we're at a castle here. This is, a, this is one of the small castles behind me. Uh, but really just briefly gonna talk real quick today about German knife walls and a lot of popular misconceptions. But basically the walls are uh, all knives and cutlery falls into three different categories. That would be category one would be a knife that's completely not permitted. Category two would be a knife that you can own but you can't carry. And then category three would be a knife that you can own and carry on your person on a daily basis. Now, all of Europe, let me let me say this as, a, as, I, uh, as an intro basically, all of Europe pretty much has the same idea that if you have a knife on you, you need to have a reason for it. And, and police officers in almost all of Europe uh, follow along, the, the large majority of Europe follow along with that uh, line of thought to where you need to have a reason for having a, a knife on you if, you if you do have a knife on you. So I'll now go through the categories. Category one is a completely prohibited knife, butterfly knife, OTF, uh, anything automatic assist, all illegal to own. Those are first ones are illegal to own in Germany. Automatic knives, Assisted knives, anything can be considered a switchblade, butterfly knives, illegal. Anything you can open with one hand is illegal to carry. Anything larger than five inches in blade length, including a kitchen knife, I believe it's actually 4.7, it's 12 centimeters. Anything larger than 12 centimeters in blade length is also illegal to carry, even if it's a kitchen knife. So what, what? let me now get into what is legal to carry, and I'll give you a real quick example. This is the Bone Tactical EDC Kank right here. This is uh, one of the ones that I make. So you guys have, I'm sure, seen this before. This is the Modern Warrior. This sheath system is available as well. This is the leather belt sheath. So just, I'm kind of in uh, a very... Um, first world area really nice where people dress well and uh, so I figured I would wear a uh, leather sheath option because it goes well with leather belts nice nice you could be wearing a suit or a jacket or something like that it would still match your outfit very fast to access faster to access even than the than the than the folding knives that are illegal here so if you want to pull it out and you need, you need to cut something that's uh, always an option um, but 100% legal because it's a single-sided blade and it's shorter blade than five inches or 12 centimeters, so 100% legal. Also, another option that's even uh, cheaper, a uh, very cheap option, would be the uh, NPE Ghost Knife, okay? And this one, basically, that I have on me is legal because of the size, also it's not folding, and I'll just go ahead and show you guys these up close and personal. So again, these are illegal just about anywhere in the world. This is selling for $30. It's completely undetectable from metal detectors and items uh, as far as wands and stuff like that. So if you were wearing it and you wanted to enter a club or something like that, a nightclub here in Germany, or really anywhere in the world where they might use wands it would be an option to carry because it won't be detected by a wand or if it's banks and stuff like that at a $30 value it's the most effective non-metallic knife in the world okay because it can I can have this sheath I can have it on like I'm wearing it right now you'd never know I have it I can put uh, I can use plastic C clips or or uh, any kind of attachment system where I can put a belt clip I sell belt clips and I can use plastic Chicago screws and put it on the belt system if you look here, I also have the EDC Kank, okay, in the leather sheath system. I'll show you this again real quick here. Also completely legal because of the size of the blade and just very quick to access ambidextrous sheath system here that can be carried horizontally or vertically so I could switch it really any way I wanted to and just really a nice, a nice setup, nice ease carry. And then the best thing about the leather is that it's just very professional. If I wanted, uh, if I wanted to look very professional or wanted to be, have a nice outfit on, uh, for example, and, you know, business attire, suit and tie, or a button down, something like that, then it would really go well with my outfit. Also, just what I have on my person right now, just to continue talking about what's completely legal here, is this is the serialized Bone Breaker Micro. Okay, it's got a key on there. 
it is a bottle opener but also you guys know it supports the small bones of the fist with if the more keys I put on there the more it supports these small bones of my hand and then creates hard impact points all around here if I had to use it in some kind of a way or if anything was coming in here impacting my fist if I had used it as a glass breaker to break out of a car or something like that all kinds of sharp points all the way around my fist again this is the serialized collector's edition this is number 49 out of 200 and something else that I can carry this I can carry I even bring it on the plane with me and this is something else that I can carry anywhere in the world thanks for watching guys bone out